It's always really cool looking back at all the previous versions to see how many changes you get. We started with ukulele and more country, and then we went to more electronica and just keyboards and stuff. The final one, it became more about samples, keyboards, kind of a culmination of all the different things that led us to where we ended up. I'm Gannon, and I'm here making music for Rocket Dog. So this is the session right here. Um, there's a lot of tracks. This is what I got going on. This is video, and then we got all like the regular dialogue, and then this is all my music. During the process of creating all this music, I spoke with Mel Roach, the animator. She was able to give me very specific ideas about what she wanted, which was nice. She knew the kind of sounds and even gave me links to videos. And she made a mixtape for me, so that way I was able to create the same kind of mood and the same kind of sound that she was thinking of. In fact, she told me exactly what she wanted one part to sound like with these kids singing like, oh, and she showed me this video. We got to be the best that we got me. So I sampled the kids. And what I did is I pitch shifted it up and down in order to fit. A lot of times the scene starts with the beat. Anytime we need to record anything, we have these movable sound walls in case we need to isolate in the recordings. And I try to time out the music so that way it matches what's going on in the video. Hey, look, Bob. It's that guy that hates you. In the scene where Derek's riding his bike, he's like, dum, 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 dum. you know, he's like riding like that. Hey, moron! <laughs> and we go to the drums, and we lay that down. But the main thing is capturing the rhythm of the scene. Thanks, Derek. This had to be like the coolest song ever. We did some real drums. I got some ambulances. Playing some ambulances in the background. Ooh. This is the ambulance. So I just pitch shifted the ambulance to match the, the song. So a lot of times I combine the analog instruments with the digital instruments and that gives it like a how did you do that kind of feeling. Hello? Sometimes, you run out of the sounds, run out of the instruments, so you need to go find something new. It's important to know what your surroundings are doing to your music, and that's the reason why we have so many silly things around us. Sometimes, the crazy toys can inspire you. All you need is three apps. You need GarageBand, Animoog, and a DM1, and you're done. That's all the music you could ever make. Nova, my daughter child, she uh, provided some of the samples. I tried to sample as much weird stuff as I could. I sampled a lot of kazoos and a lot of circuit bent instruments. Oh, that's a good one. Lights and lava lamps, marshmallow people, sticks, various sizes. All these things you uh, surround yourself with, it helps create the right mood for the music.